Sometimes it is difficult to get the creative juices flowing so you can plan and decorate for a proposal and all you need are a bunch of ideas. In this video, I will give you those decoration ideas quickly, then examples of those ideas so you can find an idea or variation that works for you. Make sure you also watch my videos on marriage proposal tips and how to shop and save money on diamonds and engagement rings. Those will pop up at the end of this video. My first decoration idea a lot of people do is the big marry me marquee letters. They give any decoration an instant wow factor. You don't have to buy these either. You can rent them by looking up marquee letter rental and the area that you live in. And you will see a lot of these throughout this video, these marry me signs. The bigger you get these, the better in my opinion. I know you aren't likely to pay as much as this couple for decor, but this is the key to how professionals decorate. Think levels and depth. A white candle petal pathway up, candles on the ground, on the stage, lights high hanging from the ceiling and in the foreground. Then there's a will you marry me sign around the head level. And then there's a plant at about the thigh level. My point is the best decorations will be on many levels and in the foreground and in the background to give it depth. This couple found a proposal spot that has a hot air balloon launch every morning in Turkey. My point is use what is already beautiful and available to you. I have been there, it is awesome, but maybe something like this or a big monument is already available for you and it's free if you do. Here's a Paris proposal. The better the backdrop, the less decor you need for a complete feel of the decorations. All this guy did here was put up some rose petals and it is beautiful. Don't over decorate either. It doesn't have to be expensive. This here is a beautiful apartment decor that probably cost around 50 to 70 bucks in my opinion. But an abundance of balloons with depth and levels like I explained, balloons high, hearts on the ground, and more balloons just everywhere. As a general rule, you will want to fill as much of the space as possible. This guy filled up most of the wide space. If you only have small decor, like only a small marry me sign, then consider using a small space, not a big room or a beach. Consider using moving elements like a bubble machine, floor sparklers, and confetti. This guy just happened to use all three and it looked amazing but it makes the decor come alive and feel more magical. If you are not into hearts or just like the typical engagement decor, it doesn't have to be. It can be a pineapple like this guy, especially if your proposal has a theme, just decorate to that theme. If you don't have space to help you decorate on levels, consider renting little altars. They make anything a little more picturesque, especially these with drapes. If you don't have a location to propose yet, an instant magical place to propose is a gazebo. Just call to reserve a community one and put up some lights and it is instant magic at night. A mid-height decor is normally the most difficult to find when planning for decorations, yet they are probably the most important for good close-up pictures as well. Like these little helium balloons tied to things on the floor were inexpensive but made for great pictures. You can see here how they make a good background even for close-ups. This guy used a lot of decorations on the ground with lights. He also used draping lights. Once again, this just shows us that you don't need to stand in a heart with rose petals and you can just be more unique if you don't want to do that. Here is more simple decoration ideas. The heart wreaths are just a great touch. Also, he has a book of memories there as well and it's pretty simple and the view looks great too. Rose petals are always a great look. This guy used a ton of rose petals to make a fancy design. I thought it was a unique use of the rose petal, not just the typical heart shape that a lot of people use. Now from those marquee rental places, a lot of times you can also rent walls like this one. Then put a few small decorated tables in front of it and you got beautiful decorations. This next one is about photography. You need to watch my video and have people that will capture your proposal watch my video on how to photo and video a proposal. Your decor or location can be amazing like this location in Japan, but simply with a different camera angle, it could have looked amazing and captured an amazing 
making memory and moment too. So learn how to capture this moment as this other couple did. This guy does a lot really well. Great use of colored lights. It is in a barn, so he uses balls of hay on theme. Also, he uses a field as a screensaver on a monitor or a TV. Then he uses a spotlight that shines on the ring as it drops in. Then he also uses just hanging lights. Just amazingly good job with the levels and lots of lights. Consider going overboard on a feature. Look how many lights this guy uses in this gazebo. He also uses a big spotlight that makes this seem like a huge event. Lastly, he has fireworks take off too. He just made the thing look and feel like a huge event because he went overboard. Now, if a lot of this seems expensive, remember, you can watch all my videos on how to save hundreds to thousands on engagement rings, so you can put that money towards an awesome engagement. The links to the most reputable and inexpensive places to buy diamond rings is linked to below. Now, decorating the pathway to the proposal a lot of times is done with pictures and with decor. This proposal had both in different parts of the path. Just remember, not all memories are pictures. You can decorate with souvenirs or tokens of memorabilia that you have saved or that you can find from dates you've had. Now, nostalgia is a great preparation for the engagement. Look at all these great times we had. Now, let's do it forever. On this rooftop proposal, the person added an awesome personal touch with these personalized pillows. Really awesome if you ask me, but you can get tons of personalized decor like this for cheap at places like Walmart. Here's an example of just using what is available to you. This guy had a heart made out of rocks near a little stream with some inexpensive red balloons and flowers. Really pretty, really simple. Here are two examples of just decorating for seasons, especially Christmas season to make it beautiful. So whether it's a birthday, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, an anniversary, use that to your advantage. This is another decor, but it just shows what you can do by just simply, let's say, decking out a wall with tons of Christmas decorations. It's simple and awesome. Here, the decor is a nice lounge area on the beach. The great thing about this, after the proposal, you have a romantic little date on the beach set up too. If you know someone with a studio, it is a great place to set up for a proposal. And the great thing about that is you have a great place for engagement pictures right away. If you're a craftsman, consider making something awesome like this wooden heart to propose at. The possibilities are endless if you can confidently build stuff. This guy decorated a small room, and here you can see a small Marry Me lettering works well here. He also had pictures hanging from the balloons, and I love that he uses likely some YouTube loop on his TV as the backdrop. But you don't have to use big decorations if your space is small. Now, let's just say you you got money and you use my links to buy your rings, then consider a complete glam engagement. But even if it's not like this, it's still the same concept. Levels with a heart on the ground, marry me sign, and a wall. You could probably do this decor on your own for a few hundred dollars. Sometimes animals can be the actual decoration. This guy just took the girl to a place with a bunch of dogs. Maybe dogs are too much of a stretch for a decoration video, but Remember, just about anything can be decorations. And now here's this. Remember, it's not just levels, but depth of the decor that can be amazing. This guy did really well with the pathway up to the engagement and tea lights a little ways into the distance as well. The way he just decorates this area just gave the decor and the footage of the proposal great depth. So like I said, animals could be decorations, so too can the musicians. The musicians here are the decor, plus it is really romantic of an ambiance. It'll cost you unless you have connections, but I also love the confetti toss at the end of the proposing. Here's another example of using a lot of lights and levels of decor at different depths. If you do it that way, everything feels complete and always lights at night. The more lights, the better in my opinion. If you need to, borrow some of your friend's Christmas lights. That's an easy way to get more. Something that is a popular idea, but not as popular as it used to be, is decorating the quotes. It's a good idea, I think just people don't do it anymore because they already see so many quotes on social media and maybe we're just all quoted out a little bit. If you really want A plus decorations for let's say Instagram 
or someone that just loves pictures, you need to get your outfits to match or at least coincide with the decor or the theme. A lot of times this is accomplished by telling the person you're gonna to propose to that you wanna take pictures for something. So look this certain way for taking those pictures or let's say if you want them to dress up, tell them you're going to a nice restaurant and then when you propose, that's actually why you're dressed up. Either way, this couple goes with the decor amazing. I know we can beat a dead horse with the lights, but the strand hanging lights are excellent for great film and photography footage. And in the middle of the snowy forest, come on, this is just beautiful and dreamy and it's not even decorated that intensely. A nicely decorated dinner table is another great way to decorate. He has the usual heart in the sand, and once again, I love the floor sparklers, and the table is also pretty. And another instant date after the proposal to complete the night. A pure flower ornamental makes for a beautiful proposal decoration. Sometimes nice hotels will have these already on hand, and so that way you know how to get a hold of one. Arches are also very pretty if you can find one for rent, or you can buy one on the cheap and then you can use it for decor in your yard or somewhere else later down the line. I also like here that they used a puzzle that was an activity that they did and they made that into a decoration on an easel. We've already talked about marry me signs and filling up spaces, but again, there is something about going bigger that says you are really throwing it all out there. And so consider going with big decor for your proposal. Here's another couple dressing and decorating to the theme. Here it is almost like a hippie look in a sunflower field. They used that lacy backdrop that made it all go together too. So it doesn't have to be the typical decorations. Make sure you watch all my proposal tips and idea videos now if you want to plan the perfect proposal. Also watch one of my many how to shop for engagement rings and diamonds videos. Or mark my words, they know how to rip you off. The best places to buy diamonds are in the description below to save hundreds to thousands on engagement rings and they are very reputable. Like, subscribe, and watch another one now.